Our weed of the week is brome grass. And actually, I want to talk about something a little bit different before we talk about how to control well, this weed. Well, let's not talk about the weed of the week, Brian. <laughs> well, well I, I, look, I, I do want to talk about brome grass, but brome grass can be beneficial too because it actually can hold down some broadleaf weeds sometimes. We were just talking about fence lines and ditches. Well, because we've had Roundup crops and Liberty crops, it's very common to get Roundup and Liberty sprayed a little too far. So you spray into that field border a little too much, or you spray into your grass waterway a little too much, and you can actually kill off some of the brome grass. So that's one of the reasons we're kind of excited about, hey, there, there may be a little bit more 2,4-D and dicamba and uh, the HPPDs and all these types of products used, and maybe a little bit less Roundup as we go forward. All right, so with brome grass, uh, just a couple of things that I would mention. First of all, the seed viability is generally less than two years. So if brome grass grows to, goes to seed, uh, if you do a good job controlling it and keeping it out of your field, you won't have to fight it forever. But the, it's a perennial weed, so you may have to fight it well, forever. Well, the rhizomes, the rhizomes right. underneath the ground are the real key. So uh, when you've got, that's why it works so good in a grass waterway, for yep. example. But if you want to get brome grass under control, you need a herbicide that moves all the way down into the rhizomes. Well, guess what? There's really only one that's very good, and that is Roundup. Now, the challenge with using Roundup is a lot of times guys are used to using a quart, and you say, well, I sprayed a quart of Roundup on brome grass and just kind of burned the top growth off and then it greened up again. That's not gonna do it. You're gonna need the full labeled rate if you wanna get it down into that rhizome system to kill the plant completely. Okay, so what is the full labeled rate? You're just gonna have to look that up because every situation may be a little bit different, but we just want you to understand, keep your water volume a little bit lower and keep your Roundup rate a little bit higher so you have good concentrated droplets. The other thing is avoid tillage. If you do tillage, you end up cutting that plant up and there are a lot of times rhizomes below ground that will put a shoot out a week or two or three weeks after you've sprayed the Roundup. Hey, one little identification thing that I think is pretty cool. On the leaves of brome grass, there will be a little W, or uh, my oldest boy, his name starts with an M. Uh, he says it's an M on the leaves. Anyway, look for that jagged line, whether it's an M or a W, depending on which way you're looking at it. That a lot of times will tell you, hey, this is brome grass I'm looking at. All right, so once again, I wish there was an easier path we could tell you other than just spraying Roundup. Uh, we just don't have a lot of great options for controlling this perennial weed, brome grass. That's all time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next. <music>